All right, hey Cancer. So I'm doing a full moon read. This is a love and separation read, yes. I'm not trying to make them all about that. I'm trying to spice, you know, trying to spice everything up, but um, I felt like it was important to do this read because there's a lot of people that are holding on to things that can't move forward. Whether you want this relationship to work or the person that's on your mind, you whether you want them to work or not, by the end of the read, we're going to see what you need to release to either call the person back in or move on from the situation and its entirety, okay? So the first oracle I'm going to pull is just, it's a, a message from your soul, from your spirit, something either you have been kind of, um, <clears throat> like you, you kind of know it's there, but it's like just coming from your subconscious, a message that you need to hear. All right, so you're coming out with, do I surround myself with people who lift me up? The people with whom we surround ourselves determine, determine who we become. Does your tribe fill you up? Do they inspire you? Do they believe in you? Do they step in to your greatest potential? So today's soul action. Make a desire list for the type of people with whom you wish to surround yourself and clarify if there's anyone in your life who no longer serves you. Can you love them from a distance? All right. And, you know, that's everything. That's uh, that's all forms of our, um, of the people that we hang out with. But I feel like the message is um, coming in clear and it's just telling you to think about your tribe, yes, but also what's going on with the situation, okay? So we're going to pull a moon oracle card. And your moon. Cancer. Full moon in Taurus. Your dreams need a practical plan. All right. And it could be that you, you know, when it comes to the love, the love um, situation, this is kind of what I'm associating these cards with is the love. Um, but are we holding somebody to a higher standard? Are we holding ourselves to where we need to be? You know, that kind of stuff. Do I surround myself with people who lift me up? All right. Your dreams need a practical plan. So is there something missing or something that's um, um, that you're not seeing from the situation with your person? So with the tarot cards, I'm just going to start right in. And we're not going to dive too deep in. Um, just because I don't want to do it like that. I just want to see what's coming out. I want the basic, basically we're all in these love situations, but what I want to do is I want to pull cards to see what you can do to make your life easier or better or, you know, vibrate higher. So the current situation between you and this person All right, your guys' situation. The bottom of the deck, we have two of cups. So obvious soulmate energy, right? Um, this is also about communication. It could say that you guys have been in somewhat small communication. All right, but two of cups. Um, when I when I pull this 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 set, it is mutual energy. So I do feel like you guys both feel the same connection to each other. Look at that. We have the lovers. The Nine of Swords and the Six of Cups, all soulmate. This is like deep soulmate. So you guys are, are in a pretty hurt state of mind, okay? We have the Nine of Swords, which is like the worst card that you can get in this deck. Um, I mean, I, I really feel like it's even worse than the, the Devil card, really. Um, the Nine of Swords is somebody who's been through hurt. It's stress, anxiety, pain, worry, fear. It's the card that you actually stay up all night crying, right? Um, and I feel like it's because you feel this deep 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 soul bond deep connection to this person now, i'm not saying that you stay up and cry all night but it's like i can't sleep i can't eat you know um i'm not saying that you embody devil behavior either but you know this is a, the type of um situation i feel like could be easily numbed by substances like alcohol you know so what caused the situation 
will cause the separation on this situation for Cancer. And we have the Six of Wands. So it's like things are rolling along, things are going good, everybody's happy, everybody's feeling good, and then what? Somebody just pulls their energy away. That's what it is. We have the hermit. I feel like somebody just pulls back. Like you guys are going on this really deep transition and somebody just pulls back. All right. The empress um, could be dealing with a Libra. You could be dealing with a Virgo. You could be dealing with Gemini. Um, it doesn't have to be. Um, but what I'm seeing, what I feel... I almost feel like the person coming out in the Empress energy is the one that's pulled back their energy. Um, it could be that, that you're dealing with somebody who has been, um, like when you guys were together, like work was more important than you. Okay. Like this person's success, I almost feel like could be more important than you in their eyes. All right. Um, what caused the separation? I don't see people per se, it could be a person with the Empress coming out in this um, in this round. All right, what causes separation? We have the Empress, so it could be that somebody um, has a wife. All right, it could be that somebody um, dealt was dealing with work. You know, trying to maintain their status. All right, whatever the situation is, whether it was a person or work, I feel like this person thought it was good. They were gonna be, they were gonna feel more successful or more happy if they did what they chose to do. So what is your person's current energy? Your person's current energy. Seven of Wands. They want to come towards you. You got the Knight of Cups. So their current energy is they want to come towards you. I don't feel like this situation is as heavy as cheating. No. I feel like this person... I mean, it could be that somebody not cheated but pulled back their energy for a, a the grass is greener scenario. Okay, it could be that. I don't feel like this was a cheating though. So if y'all just started seeing each other, I feel like this person chose somebody else. If if uh, y'all just started seeing each other, I feel like they pulled back for work. And it could have been that they were they had to pull back for work. Their energy. They're feeling swayed. I feel like they're afraid to reach out to you. They don't know whether to come towards you or not. I feel like this is your guys' energy right there. Look at, I'm going to bite your face. You know what I mean? I almost feel like this person wants to reach out to you. The Nine of Cups, the Knight of Cups was showing at the bottom of the deck. Okay. And I almost feel like this person wants to reach out to you, but they don't know if you're going to bite their face off or not. They want a rebirth of the situation though. They want to, they want to redo the situation. Okay. Look at, they're realizing that they've messed up pretty good. They're coming out in this energy where this is their energy, but they want happiness. They want their wish fulfillment and they're realizing I got to change something and I really feel more pulled to say it's for somebody who chose work or the lifestyle over you, you know, even if it's pulling back because you're not as successful as them, you know, I feel like this person is just kind of waking up to this like, whoa, you know, so how does this person feel about you? How does this person feel about cancer? The Knight of Swords. So they want to move towards you. This is a success card. But there's that Knight of Cups. They want to move towards you, but it's like they're stop and go. I feel like it's in haste. They're like, do I do it or not? I feel like they're just so confused. And, you know, the swords are all about the the um, the speech and, like, the mental body. And um, But I feel like they, they go and then they stop. They go and then they stop. But they want to, but they don't know how you're going to react if they, if they try to do this with you. If they try around two, I feel like this person, they don't know how you're going to act. They don't know how you're going to react, I should say. They want to come towards you. But they don't know how. How do you feel about this person? Yeah. 
three of pentacles so you could actually see a success here is what i'm thinking you have the hangman coming out too though so if you guys are dealing with somebody that chose grass is greener i do feel like you're still in the hangman period like i don't really know if i want this person all right but look at the three of pinnacles this is about teamwork success forward movement this is about people who are going to make stuff happen together all right and i feel for some of you i do kind of feel like that we do have two different stories i feel like for some of you you are um okay with that i almost feel like too there's kind of a double message for those of you who are willing to actually um start something with this person i do feel like you're gonna have to be the one to move um I mean, I already feel like there's some communication going on, but I almost feel like you're going to have to do more of the forward movement, even though it doesn't seem fair. But look at just bur burst in your energy. You're the king of cups. You know what I mean? I feel like if you open the door, it, it would draw the person in, you know, for those of you who would feel comfortable enough. Like if this person was like, I got to go away for work. For some of you, I feel like it could be like this person chose social status. And then for others of you, I feel like this person may have chose the grass is greener. So there's only going to be one. I mean, if we went three different routes, it's like, I, I just, I feel like it's going to be the same outcome no matter what. I, I feel like you, I, I don't know what it is about this situation, Cancer, but I'm feeling compelled to say, I feel like you would actually, um, give this person another shot. Now that's not going to be for everybody. Obviously, if this story, if you're not feeling it, you don't feel it. I don't know. I'm just seeing that's kind of how you're feeling about them. So what do you need to release from this situation in order to either move forward without this person or with this person? What do you need to release? What does cancer need to release? This is a full moon, November 30th. All right. So some of you are feeling guarded. Like uh, even though this is how you feel in your mental body, I feel like outwardly this is what your perception, this is what you are uh well, this is what your person is perceiving of you. They may have tried to send you messages in the past and you just left them ignored. I don't feel like you have them blocked, but I do feel like you've have you've left them on ignore or like you don't answer back, you know? So I feel like if you want this person like they want you you're gonna have to release like the the walls up that you have and know that this person wants to come towards you as a page even but let them move into their king status right the four of pentacles is a release you gotta you gotta let your guard down and even if it's going to somebody new how can you get somebody new if you have your walls up so i feel like the first thing out for you is to 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 don't categorize don't categorize everybody know that people are different and know that people too can change all right the wheel of fortune coming out as a release um this could be you in this energy like it's shit, the, why is everything always the same why does this always happen to me why does the wheel never turn in my favor and that's a thought process that you're gonna have to release i feel like okay again not gonna be for everybody and then we have the ten of wands okay the tens are already about endings but the ten of wands too is also about determination the ten of wands and the ten of swords specifically for me are more of a negative energy and i feel like it's like i feel like you could be this in this energy where it's like i'm done i'm just done like i don't care about people i don't want to date nobody anymore like i mean if you really want to be open and receptive or receive love you can't really go around thinking like that either. And I feel like it's just releasing the bur releasing the self doubt. Um, I kind of feel like telling you guys, like there's um, a 21 day affirmation on YouTube and his name is Eric Ho and it's a 21 day love affirmation and it's like attract love in 21 days. Um, but the, the thing is, is um, it, what you, you go through the whole program and by the end of the 21 days, it's like self-love. And that's like truly what his message is. And when you start loving yourself and you work on yourself in that manner, um, everybody is just attracted to you. I mean, I've done it. I'm, I'm doing my second round of it just because I'm like, I, I, 
I just need to listen to that again, you know? But I just, it's, I feel like there's a lot of doubt and it's self-doubt, which you shouldn't have because you guys are, you're awesome, you know? And I feel like it's, the biggest thing is releasing self-doubt, the whys, and knowing that the cycle can change, you know? I just feel like, and it's not even that you doubt yourself or you don't think you're good enough. I just feel like you're just like tired of being in these cycles. Well, we got to attract the cycle that we want, you know? So what comes to you when you listen or you follow your um, spirit team's advice? The first card out is the four of cups. So you're going to be getting, you're going to be receiving news. You're going to be receiving, even if you're not ready for an offer, you're going to be receiving news that you want to hear. I'm just going to tell you that. Even if you want to ignore the message again, you're going to be receiving something, but this time it's going to be done. You're going to think about it in a different light. What comes to cancer on the release? You got the Knight of Wands. So some of you that want this person back, I'm just going to tell you, they're coming back, okay? Even if this person thought the grass was greener somewhere else, they're not. Look at the sun card. You get happiness because you don't care anymore what people think, what this person thinks, or, or this or that or the other. You've done the self-reflection, all right? And this is set within 30 days. So this is a 30-day intention. You listen to the advice. You take the advice. You manage the advice, all right? And in, in 30 days, I am going to do a follow-up with you guys on this November 30th read. I'm going to do a check-in, all right? So look at self-reflection, all right? Spiritual alignment, raise your vibrations, and it, you get happiness. And love, self-love, so important. So what is your advice? What is your advice? What's the advice for cancer? Look, you got the queen of swords, queen of wands. I feel like your team is just saying, look, <laughs> ace of cups, your advice, your worth love. Do you surround yourself with people who lift you up? All right. Do you surround yourself with people who lift you up? If you're not, all right, I, I feel like it's self-love. Like, I just feel like self-love is such an important message here, okay? Embody both, both energies, honesty, your true authentic self, the, your passionate, your inspired side, okay? I don't feel like these are people energies. I feel like your team is saying you are already these energies aside from the water energy, all right? Bring these two into you also, like rediscover that part of you. Do I surround people who lift me up? I feel like you are going to be your number one fan, Cancer. And I feel like your team is just saying you need to recognize that. Ace of Cups. Love. Right there. Love yourself first. And then that draws in everybody else. All right. Cancer, please let me know if this is resonating with you guys. I love you guys so much. Hope you guys have a good full moon, sleep good, release, receive. Bye guys.